Tough game, tough environment. Um, to me, we just didn't, we didn't match the intensity and the energy on the toughest team won today. Yeah, that's what the home court does for you. You know, they did a phenomenal job today in this in this gym. Uh, took the offense out of my hands. All I could talk about at, at, uh, during timeouts was what we needed to do. We went through a stretch with two minutes to go in the first half. While I was trying to tell Joe and Jalen and Jaquan what to do, they all went one on one. We turned those balls over, live ball turnovers. They scored on all of them. So, at the end of the day, we've been able to control the tempo of the game by giving a package of offensive plays. Whatever reason, we tried to make it up on our own, and it costed us. And going in down, we were down one with 40 seconds to go. First half and going down six, that's a huge, huge problem. Then come out right after halftime and give up a three in the first possession. Come on, man. Not good. Penny, it seemed like in y'all's four-game winning streak, you had kind of cracked the code on spreading the wealth offensively, sharing the ball, that kind of thing. Um, today, it seemed like for a lot of the game, it was a you know, three- or four-man show. What, what changed there? Uh, I can't even put my finger on it, to be very honest with you. Sometimes the bigger the game, some guys feel like they need to take over, you know, and we know what we preach, and uh, it just has to be in, guys. Sometimes bad things happen, and um, this is just one of those days where we just resorted back to the old team and not the team that's, that's been where we've been. Guys were here saying that, you know, yeah, they're disappointed and upset that they didn't win today, but they also, they, all, they said that everybody's kind of upbeat, but looking forward to a clean slate, fresh start, a neutral site, and all that stuff. Is that, how do you feel about that? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy about that because these young men need to be positive. You know, they need to look at it um, from, a, from a better view. You know, obviously it was, Heartbreaking because we knew what this game meant and the way that we didn't compete at the highest level hurts me as a coach, but their, their confidence staying high and going to, uh, like you said, the slate is clean now. You know what's in front of you and you, uh, you want to go home. Coach, you knew you were in for a battle with them after the way they played you hard the first time. So did you get everything that you expected and then some knowing that you were playing on this floor? And the second part to that question is, what are your thoughts about Vladislav Golden? This guy is a stud. You've been around a lot of big guys. Yeah, obviously we knew what we were going to get coming here. You know, obviously from the last year's NCAA tournament win to us beating them a couple couple weeks ago, we knew what this was going to be about. We knew that the fans were going to be heavily involved. So with no surprises what we saw today, we knew exactly who they were. Uh, secondly, man, <laughs> Big Vlad is, uh, is amazing. He has a humongous... Uh, presence on both sides of the ball, very high IQ, and is playing championship basketball. You know, he's a big part of what they do. And he's emerged from last year because last year he played well. This year he's playing great. To kind of go off of Jason's earlier question, um, you've kind of said that there's been two sides of the coin, right, after losses. Sometimes y'all are upbeat, positive, looking ahead, and sometimes guys are not. Where did you see in the locker room after the game today? No, there was disappointment, but there's no quit in this team. Obviously, we showed that by winning the last four before we came here. It's a tough place to play. Did we want to win? Yes. But, you know, we didn't lose to a team that is no good. We lost to a team that's pretty daggone good on senior day in, on their home court. We had our opportunities. We just let it go. So the team is still upbeat. And then it's kind of go off that, you know, a lot of talk about not having to win four, four games, four days, and the fact that nobody has done it in this conference. Um, what's it going to take for y'all to be the first to do it? Yeah, it's just going to take for us to be together and everybody hitting on all cylinders. You're going to need your big three to be big three. You're going to need the team and the rest of the team and the bench to come in and produce. Coach, uh, John said after the last game that uh, Jaden and Malcolm told the team for that game uh, that FAU wasn't like that. Do you feel like that's still true today? I've never said that. I've never not thought that. And I don't think they mean it in that facet. I think they were trying to give each other the confidence, like, you know, everybody thinks that this team, this team is going to beat us just because they went to the Final Four last year, and they're back. Their entire team is back. So, to me, there's never going to be any disrespect from my, my guys. There's going to be probably confidence, trying to give them confidence to one another about 
what they need to do to go out there and compete. We know how tough this team is, and we have a lot of respect for this team. But when young guys, that's how they fire each other up to try to get into a game and just go fight. And there's nothing wrong with that because FAU doesn't know talking as well. So it's just a part of the competition. Coach, most of these, um, you know, a lot of prognosticators say that uh, the Americans are uh, two-bid league. Do you think you can make a legitimate argument that it could be a three-bid league? Uh, yes, you can make a legitimate argument that it's a three-bid three -bid league. Obviously, um, South Florida has emerged as the top team. And um, I think the next team, obviously, is um, FAU. But between ourselves, UAB and uh, SMU, I mean, I'm not even disrespecting anyone else because anybody can be beaten at any time. But those are the next team in line, you know, to me, definitely worthy of, of, a, of a bid for sure. Yeah, well, he hit three threes against us. So the whole thing, the whole time coming into today's game, I know it didn't look like it. Was to not let him get any threes up. Again, fatigue, man. It'll make you not be able to get out to a shooter. And the way that they move the ball and play unselfishly, he's gonna pop open sometimes. You just gotta get to him. And he did what he was supposed to do. He took advantage of his opportunities. They just stayed aggressive on their guys. They're going to be consistent and do the same thing every time down. And that's what they do. They create a, uh, a trigger, what we call triggers, with a ball screen. And then they move the ball and they move bodies. So they're, you know, they're, they're kind of like a well-oiled machine when they have it going. And that's what they were today in the second half. They just basically just put us, put our heels, put us on our heels and then just move the ball and guys made shots. for who you've been. Um, I really want to ask this question though while I'm in front of you. What have you learned on your journey spiritually that helps you not only be the great coach you are, but to be that impact on, on us? Well, first, uh, first of all, thank you. Because you know, everyone that knows me knows that I love my city. But the thing that I've learned is that I trust God and God is real. You know, I, through all the adversity, we wouldn't be here, none of us, if it weren't for him. So the journey has been Things happen for a reason. You know, I don't ask any questions. I know that things do happen for a reason. We went 15 and two and then we just hit a skid. We went four in a row and then hit a skid. Why, who knows? Maybe we'll find out in the conference tournament, but for me, my faith will never waver because I know where my, where my strength comes from. So throughout this, I'm a, I'm a top competitor and there are no moral victories. It just is what it is. You gotta learn. You gotta tip your hat to uh, FAU for being a great program and a great team. And what they built here, I mean, obviously this is my first time on campus. This school didn't look like it was built for a powerhouse like that. So for them to be a powerhouse now and putting this school on the map from last year and continuing to do so, that's a lot of respect. So for me, that's just all respect and I know what my journey is as well. So I'll never lose faith because I know that at any time it can turn the other way. Well, Coach, Coach, as you know that this is, you know what, you, what the pass at hand going forward is, what's your message to the team and what's your plan for the team for four games in four days. Yeah, we're going to do what we've always done. Obviously, the slate is clean, but it's to plan one game at a time. Whatever your matchup is in that game, win that matchup, get to the next game. Not any more pressure. It is win or go home, but you just you play the full season. There are no surprises right now at this time of season. You just got to go and have heart and effort. Well, Coach, you know, you just talked about FAU and what type of program that they're building. They're a year older, more experienced. Do you think that this team – is built to be able to take care of unfinished business to get back to the final four because I'll tell you that senior leadership and you know you can bring most of your team back with an incredible coach like Dusty May. I'm sure you have the utmost respect for him. Yeah, for sure. I think that it is built for another opportunity and a run in the final four. You know, getting into the tournament isn't just it. You know, anybody getting into the tournament has an opportunity to win. We've seen this over the years. March Madness is the madness. So last year they were an underdog and then they took it to the final four. Now they're they will be one of the favorites because they they bring their entire team back. So, yeah, they have the staff and the players to be able to repeat that. 